Yeah, it's always good to be back and, you know, having these guys, you know, um, it, it's a blessing, you know, just being here. It's my third camp, my second healthy camp, and I feel like it's going to be my best camp so far, and I can't really see how, you know, the next day goes, and I'm just focused on day at a time. So. What uh, skills are you working on tangibly getting better at as you, as you try and, you know, achieve what you want to share? Yeah, anchoring down, being more physical in the, in the past game, um, you know, Breaking, breaking more tackles, being more physical in the running game. I feel like I've done a lot in space uh, last season, but I think I could do even more when it comes to short yardage game and basketball. You and Jeremiah have a lot of experience from last year that you bring now into this season. How do your styles complement each other? Uh, I think um, we both know real fast, and you know, as we speak, you know, Coach Freeman has this this competition where uh, each position group, you know, he he, he rallies up points to see who who had the fastest uh, miles per hour for each day of practice. And, and me and him are, are competing in that uh, throughout camp. So, you know, we're just competing with each other, making each other better, and we're going to continue to do that for the whole season. So. J.D., last year, your quarterback is kind of like a classic drop-back passer, and obviously um, Riley's a lot more mobile. How does that change things for you guys as, as running backs? You know, if anything, it makes it, makes it you know, better for us. It opens up more up for us because they have to, you know, they have to counter for, for that. You know, skill set, and it's going to be a really good addition to the team. I can't wait. And Audrey Estime obviously had a remarkable career at Notre Dame. Have you learned anything from his style of play ball from watching him? Yeah, on and off the field, he's a he's a he's a major competitor. I love his drive, his work ethic, and you know, I really I really learned a lot from him last season, and just the way he hits the ball. I mean, I know y'all saw that clip practice yesterday where he trucked that guy. You know, that's that was him. And, uh, and he did that in practice every day, and I'm, I'm falling after his lead doing that, you know, just, just showing my, my toughness. So. Was this offseason different for you training-wise just because you were fully past the injury healthy and could focus on kind of expanding certain areas of your game? Physically, I think I've, I've been fine for a year and a half since last camp. I'm, physically, I'm the same. I think it's more – I have more confidence now. And, um, you know, now I'm leading. I'm more of a leadership role, and I have to take ownership of that and be accountable to myself and others. And um, you know, I've also learned more about the game, whether it's sitting on the sideline not playing or sitting on the sideline and playing, but having limited opportunities. I believe that I have a good chance this year to make some, you know, special. And then I don't know if we'll talk to you before A and M, but did you ever visit there or anything like that? Um, it's a little chip on my shoulder because I never, I never got much recruitment and, you know visitation from them but you know there's a lot of people in my hometown who went you know alumni fans there so it's, it'll be a pretty good sight to see I got a lot of people coming to that game so